Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Join us each and every week as we travel across the Midwest filming 52 new hunting and fishing shows a year. Sponsored by Bartline Barrels, Green Bay Trophy Fishing, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Delco, Guillotine, Kamik Law Offices, Comalong, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Norm's A, Vexlar, Warrior Boats, Wings Over Wisconsin, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. You know what? I didn't have to get up at two or three this morning and make a long road trip. We're actually fishing right in our backyard. We're up on the Wolf River today around the Fremont area doing a little bit of vertical jigging and the water is extremely low this year for this time of year. So we're basically gonna be fishing most of the deeper holes in vertical jigging. And uh, maybe we can talk Lanson a little bit later, maybe anchoring up on one of them holes and doing pumping a little bit of some jigs. Got our good friend Kurt Duxbury from the guillotine with us. Morning, Kurt. Good morning, guys. And of course, we got the one and only Lightning Lance Sweeney. Hey, Lance, why don't you tell everybody what we're doing today? Fishing the Wolf River here, Larry, like you mentioned, up uh, just upriver from Fremont. Um, just vertical jigging. Had a little rain two nights ago, so we got a little bit of current today. Um, just keep going from deep hole to deep hole to find a fish. So stay tuned, let's see what happens today up on the Wolf River. Kurt, what the heck? You know, hey, I'm just retiring myself. Hello. Uh, there we go. Nice catch there, Kurt. Thank you. Another Larry. Good eating size fish. Hey, I'm busy tying here, don't bother me. Larry, do you want a stinger or not um, so much? Um, I'm going to go one more pass without a stinger. One little hook from the stinger. I hate to see what that's going to cost he's, me. He's too proud to put one on. I didn't say I was proud. Not that's at all. That's all right. We won't starve to death tonight, right, Lance? Lance, what do you got going there? Nice oh, it's a nice there. fish. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. You were just going to take that hair jig off too, huh? Yeah, and I just lost one. I just caught this one here. Nice job. There you go. Lance, you're on the board. That'll work, on the board. There's only one guy in this boat that hasn't caught one yet. Yeah. Catch them on the bottom like that, a lot of times they trap that jig, slap it down to the bottom. Pin it. And pin, pin it, it and right? then gulp her down, so nice good start. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. That one, Kurt? Yep. Well, I'll tell you what, Lance. We got some fierce competition today going here. Yeah, that's now, two for me and none for you, expert. <laughs> who said they're an expert? Lance might have said that. No, I, I no, certainly No, no expert say here. Just, just having farmer. some fun. You guys are <laughs> oh, you're a farmer, huh? <laughs> a fishing farmer today. Now, what are you doing different than, than we're doing? I'm are you jigging anything. a little bit different? I'm not doing anything different, Larry. You guys know what the program is. It's all about boat control for this. 
and you know slowing the boat down enough so that you're just staying vertical right or if anything you know a little bit above vertical you never want to be coming this time of year where you're dragging at all you want to be almost like you're anchored to just vertical yeah and now in another three weeks that'll be all dragging it'll be all dragging. right for the yep. most part yep. nice it's, job flips the switch you want to hold that fish up Kurt? this is the smaller what we've been seeing but still a good eater still a good eater Better fish? Better fish. Let's see that this one. will drop back in. It's that big, huh? Did you see it already? Oh, it's 20. That's a nice fish. Female? Yeah, I'm guessing female. Oh, there. yeah, it's nice fish. fish. You yeah. know? There's definitely some movement the last couple days on the river. Some different fish coming through, working their way up the system. Hold that and one again, up, And again, please. pinning that jig down on the bottom there, Larry. Nice fish. What? You know, a fish like that, we're going to drop back. Yeah, you can see she's loaded with eggs right here. Nice and fat, nice and healthy. Let her back in, do her thing. Nice job, though. How are you doing back there, Larry? I'm working on it. I got the right color jig. And a stinger hook on. And a stinger, now, right? yep. Larry's got a stinger hook on. That'll go on the boopers. You just control the boat up there, okay? <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what, Kurt, you have definitely got the hot, hot hand. I don't know what you're doing different, but keep it up. Thanks, Larry. Hey, you're no hey, you're not just a good ice fisherman, you're also a great open water vertical jigger. Well, I live here and you know So do I! This we love isn't this place. Right. I haven't caught one yet. You know, people forget you travel to Canada and everything, and I tell people all the time we live within an hour of the best walleye fishing in the world between this system, Green Bay. You're right about that. You, know, you can travel places <laughs> really easy, and we're pretty lucky. We're very, we are very lucky. You know, an interesting thing you just uh, a comment that you just made a couple minutes ago, something that you saw on Facebook, and once you talk a little bit about that, Kurt, because that that is uh, definitely something that, uh, and Lance even brought it up too about when you're fishing boundary waters. Right, yeah, some people post it on Facebook and other social media and it's a good point. Throw if you're gonna there. be in Green Bay on boundary waters, Lake Michigan, you need to have your paper copy or your license with you. Your Go Wild card is good enough for here, but it isn't good enough for there, so make sure you make a copy, put it in your wallet. Man, times must be tough in the TV industry. You need a jig back that bad. <laughs> These jigs are hard to come by. It took you 10 minutes to try to find me this one. Oh, uh, look what I got. Yep. <laughs> Lance, did you put that in there? Hey, not. Not everybody today has caught a block, a concrete block. You got us beat there, Larry. Here we go. Lance, got, got him. Up by now, Larry. You know what I did different? What'd you do? Put a toaster I, tail on there, didn't nope, you? Nope, I went with a ringworm. You went plastic? I went plastic. I'll tell you what, last year, you were on the minnows last fall, if anybody remembers. I went on the plastics and started catching them. That's the first actually good bite I've had. Hey, I'm on the board. Hey, Kurt, I'll take you back up. I hate to see you lose one of them good jigs, right? <laughs> Thanks, man. Ah, you got it. I'm on the board. Is, he getting, <laughs> is he getting cocky right away? Hey, Which is two one. things I did different. Oh. I got sun drop. I got jerky. I'll take you back up this way. And I got a fish. <laughs> I love it. That's a decent walleye right there. Nice one, Larry. You know what, you guys? I just kind of feel sometimes I start off a little bit slow. There you go. That 
one was not going to No, that one off. wasn't. That was a nice hit, too. He just, thunk. I love that when you feel that. You know, there's certain things you never get sick of. You never get sick of eating pizza, eating hamburgers, and catching walleyes. And they taste okay, too. And, well, they taste awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Lance? Hey, Lance. Let's talk a little bit, since we got a little bit of time here. Let's talk a little bit about what got you into guiding. Uh, about four years ago, I started with you, Larry, out on the ice, ice fishing, and then we kind of transferred over to open water, and, you know, it's, went and got the captain's license and kind of took over from there. Been working with you the last four years. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Oh, it's it's been great. You know, I fished Winnebago my whole life, so I kind of I was familiar with that body of water, but fishing with you the last four years to be able to go to different bodies of water and be put spot on spot and how to catch the fish has just uh, saved a lot of years of hunting and finding it on my own. So. Yeah, you know, besides all that, though, but, you know, what really made you decide to give up? You used to have a landscaping business. Yep, yep. What made you decide to give up the landscaping business and, and to do this for a living? Well, of course, going back to meeting you and going out and doing that, but, uh, you know, when I wasn't working, I was fishing. So, right. you know, uh, once we started doing this, that's that kind of took over. And, and enjoy it so much. You know, you go out and meet new people every day. That's every day. the key thing right You know, there. it's just it's a variety of people. And it's not bad when this is your office, you know. We're pretty all jobs have All jobs have pros and cons, but yeah. this one isn't too shabby. And your favorite part about the job is the people or the fishing? The people. Yeah, that's yep. what I would say. Exactly, yep. So you don't mind that every once in a while, Lance, we really pick on you a little bit and give you a hard time. If you ain't laughing, you ain't living. That's right. Right. <laughs> hey, uh, Connor, Hunter, make sure both you guys record what he just said here because that little deal that you guys pulled on him last week, I don't know how that's going to go over yet. Nice. That's a nice fish. Hey, 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 the late bloomer is coming on. You know what's interesting? We went and tried about four or five other spots and uh, caught a couple, but then we moved back to where we originally were catching fish. Everybody's gone out of here, and uh, you missed one just a couple minutes ago. Caught the one back on them. Go. It's interesting, too, is that the different jigging techniques, you know, where, it's, where all three of us are vertical, but sometimes you're, you gotta pop it a little faster and to let it drop a little slower. And sometimes, you know, I'll let it, I'll pop it and I'll actually lay the jig right on the bottom and then lift back up and that's what they want. So you're always changing up what you're doing. And when you're in these rivers too, the guy in the front of the boat is, his angle of his line is gonna be a little bit different than guys in the middle and in the back. So what they like, you get to kind of see and find out. Right, that is. That's the nice part about having other people in the boat fishing with you too, right? And it's great when they bring their own jigs. So when you run out, you can get them from them. Speaking of running out, somebody snagged me. Oh, jeez, that's what it was. It's a nice fish too right there. God, I like that. I can't believe all the nice 15 to 16 inch fish we've caught today. There you go. There you go. Nice job. On the, that was not on the a stinger? professional. That was, that was I, I was on my phone. You were? Oh, is that what I heard drop yeah, on the ground? Yeah, maybe that was it. Oh, I was paying attention too hard before. That's that, was. that seems to work pretty good, the phone deal. Right, right? yeah. Yeah, that is a nice fish. At least when you drop your phone, it went in the boat, not out of the boat. Exactly. Wouldn't be the worst, though, if it were gone, you know? <laughs> nice. Oh. All right. We're almost there. This week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends at Mike's Country Meats up in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, Kurt, I'll tell you what, you've got a tip of the week, and it's a tip of things that you shouldn't do on the river. Right. You know, when you're fishing a river like this, it's a lot narrower than being out on a lake. So common sense takes over with these tips. So number one, you see people drifting like we are right now. You get three, four boats in a drift like this. Don't be the guy that anchors in the middle of it and screws up the drift. Odds are that is not a good spot to anchor anyway. You want to anchor on the slower side of the river. 
Number two, when people are anchored or even doing a drift, don't be the guy that comes by half throttle. We we'd see rather, that a lot. We'd rather, rather you either idle by or come by full tilt on plane. There's nothing worse that you can do than half throttle. And then there's a lot of anchor guys on these rivers and those are local people that probably know a good spot and they're trying to be the spot on the spot. So give them distance, stay away, go by slow. Because if you come flying by or go half throttle and you push them off of the spot, they got a lot of work to do pulling two anchors and Trying reset. Trying to reconnect. So those three things will have people waving at you on the river instead of giving you other signals. And it's all about having fun and enjoying the resources. Great tip of the week this week brought to you by our good friends at Mike's Country Meats. Mr. Duxbury, you are definitely back in action again. Nice job. Yeah, had a cold spell there, but I just had to get my right jig back on. That, that's all it took? I think so. You should give Lance one of them. You, you were confusing me with this plastics and white. And then the white. And, uh, that's your, back, that's, back, that's, that's back your basics. That's your confidence jig, huh? Right on. Nice. Another nice Wolf River walleye, eater size fish. And the run is actually just starting. It's going to be interesting if we get any rain in the next week or two to see what happens. Shotgun Steve Schaefer in the kitchen here. What I have is walleye. This recipe came from Don Wells. He put the tile floor in Larry's house. He put it on Facebook, sent it to me, so you got to try this. I tried it a couple weeks ago with the family. I wasn't very sure about it, but man, I tell you, it's good. I got a Ziploc bag, threw a little Italian dressing in there. The man told me, Don told me to put them in the bag for two to three hours. So before Dan came over this morning, man, I tell you, it's good. I don't know, we got this in the house, Olive Garden, probably buy anything, but the smell is just crazy good. He said it's good for football games and stuff. People invite you over, chop them up, put them on Ritz crackers. So I'm gonna cook them up this way, see how they taste. Hear that noise, folks? Ready for the first round of flipping. Oh yeah, that's what we want to see. Oh, that one got away on me, folks. If you guys, uh, too bad we're on TV. If this is a live cooking episode here with people, man, does it smell good. There must be balsamic or something in an Italian dressing because it really smells good. All right, now he told me when they're flipped over, take a little bit of lemon pepper, shake it over the top. Don Wells, I appreciate the recipe. Keep people send stuff in to me. Once again, I forgot to tell you folks, if you're on the grill making this, make sure you have the wire grates on your grill. Don't use the cast iron ones because when the fish will stick to it, you'll have know, just a mess out there. Like mine is a metal grate and you just flip them over. Let's try this. I've had it before and I know how good it is. People seriously keep sending in recipes. Tell me what you got. Thanks, Don. From Larry Smith Outdoor Shotgun Kitchen. Lemon pepper Italian dressing. Two hours dressing, a little bit of lemon pepper on top. You know, it's amazing. I started off really slow. I mean, the first seven, eight passes, I never had a bite. Maybe one bump, and these guys are really giving me a hard time. But now, you know, and that is kind of the cool part about fishing, how things, how, how things change, you know. Oops. I just kind of, I, I was watching Kurt before, and I changed my jigging technique just a little. I slowed it down on the fall, and uh, that made a big difference. Nice. You know, and that is really, Kurt and Lance, that you said before earlier, we are so fortunate to have such a great fishery. In this Winnebago system, it's 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 not a, a fishery where you're gonna come out and catch 10 pounders, but it certainly is a fishery where you can catch a lot of 14 to 18 inch fish and great eating fish. And I'm all for that three fish limit. I know, you know, there's a lot of guys that are gonna say no against it, but that's my opinion. The three fish limit, I think three fish, I'd be happy if I could come out and catch three walleyes every time I came out. Lance, how about you? I think I'm due, Larry. You're due? Yeah, it's been about an hour, hour and a half. 
that's a nice fish too. Yep. We could have went down below and fished with a lot of different guys, you know, people down there. Yep. It's a little bit more crowded when you're fishing down river, but we decided to go against the odds. They're catching a lot more fish down there, a lot more numbers, a lot of smaller fish, but we decided to come up and, and just kind of do our own thing. We've got a couple boats fishing through here, but it's not real crowded and it panned off, it panned out, I should say. It doesn't always work this way, but you know, all three of us love this river and we like to kind of fish in spots where there's not big groups. Not saying sometimes you, you don't, you need to, you know, that you sometimes you have to put yourself in that situation to catch fish, but today was a great day so far, I'll tell you that. Yeah, whenever we can dodge the crowds, we will, but, uh, and we haven't had one that, that's been short that you couldn't keep today. We had you know, one we big one we let go. Two, two that we let go. Oh, and, that's right, two we let go. And the rest have been good 14, 16 inch eaters like this here. Else does. I got it. <laughs> there we go. I haven't caught one all afternoon, Larry. I wanted to make darn sure I got that oh, one. Oh, you in. did, huh? Wouldn't yeah. be right if we didn't make the last one a surface. Right. right. Another good eater. Nice job, Lance. Hey, Lance, you know, we had an absolutely fun time like we always do, and we know how special this is to be able to come out here every day and guide on this and just, you know, to have such a great fishery. Uh, and, you know, if people want to get a hold of you and do some guiding, tell everybody how they can do it. Uh, the best way, Larry, is to get a hold of me by phone, 920-410-9920, uh, or go to my Great Day Guiding page, greatdayguiding.com. You know, we uh, fish the system year-round, so, you know, we spend a little time up in Green Bay, but 80% of the time we're around the Winnebago system. So yeah, it's a great system. Yep, give us a call, get you out here, get, it, get you on some fish. And Lance, and you know lady. what, and if anybody knows any single lady that has a boat, right, lives on the lake, and a little bit of cash so Lance can fish more, right, give Lance a call. You know you wouldn't have a show without him mentioning something like that. You know what I like to do is, at the end of the day, we're heading in here, I would like to bleed these fish out. I think it makes a big difference on how they taste. Um, and it definitely it's a lot cleaner when you when you go to clean them and it, it turns that meat snow white so what I'll do is I'll just take the fish there's some water in the live well and I'll just slit them right here just like that and when you're cleaning them they're not alive either I hope everybody enjoyed our show this week. We had a ball up here on the Wolf River. Hey, and remember, check us out on our social media sites, our website, LarrySmithOutdoors.com. We put all our tips and techniques on there that we can't put in the show. And remember, like I always say, what a great day to be alive. Well, you caught me when I was eating, right? Good. But you're always eating. Am I? I'm starting to sound like my wife. All right. Thank goodness you don't look like her. You'd be in deep trouble. Does my makeup look good this morning? Oh. Huh?